Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Red Dead Online and we're going to be doing uh, five different outfits today and they're going to be the gunslingers from the cigarette cards in single player. So this is a video that has been requested quite a bit on the channel. And we're going to be doing our best to imitate the uh, five uh, gunslingers from single player story uh, based on their cigarette card outfits. So not the outfits that they're wearing when you uh, go after them in the single player story, but they're ones on their famous uh, cigarette cards. So uh, if you're not familiar with them, don't worry, I'll show the cigarette cards when I'm doing the outfits. So uh, let's just dive on in and start off with the first one, which is Billy Midnight. All right, so here we have Billy Midnight, or at least my best attempt at recreating his outfit, and I think it turned out pretty good. Now you're gonna, one thing for sure with all of these outfits, or at least most of them, uh, almost all of these gunslingers draw from the left. In their cigarette cards, you can see that the holster for their sidearm is actually, generally speaking, on the left side. So we can't imitate that, but the, the rest of it we can do pretty well. So let's go through the items that make up this outfit. Starting it off with neckwear, we're gonna be using the black folded string tie. For the vest, we're going to be wearing the 15th variant of the opulent vest, this black striped one with the gold buttons and the, like, leather trim. For the shirt, the closest that we could come is this uh, variant of the everyday shirt, the 26th variant. It's this green one with the lighter green stripes. Uh, it doesn't match as perfectly. His is yeah, a little bit lighter green, like a light pastel green with a French-style collar, and uh, the stripes are spaced further apart, and they're kind of like a darker blackish. But this is the closest that I was able to come to his shirt. For the gun belt, the first variant of the gunslinger gun belt, this light brown one, is the best one that we can do. For the pants, the uh, sixth variant of the clerk pants, these clean black ones, uh, those look pretty much exactly like his. Then for the boots, the eighth variant of the worn ropers boots, and we're going to be wearing them Texas style, so the pants are going to be tucked into them, and we're not going to be wearing any spurs. And that is my Billy Midnight outfit. Now, if you wanted to try pairing weapons with this, there's a, a number of ways to go. In the picture, you can see he is wielding two sawed-off shotguns, so that's definitely one option. Of course, if you did that, you'd have to pop on two holsters. In his holster there, it appears that he's using a all-silver uh, Schofield revolver with the ebony grip, so that could be an option for a sidearm. Or, in the single player story, after you take him down, you take a fully gold-plated Mauser pistol from him, which is Midnight's pistol. So you could go any of those ways to try to pair a weapon with this outfit. But, uh, no matter which way you slice it, I think it looks pretty cool, and it definitely looks an awful lot like he does in the cigarette card. So that's Billy Midnight. Alright, and so here we have the second outfit, the Emmett Granger outfit from the cigarette card. And again, I think it turned out pretty dang good. There's some slight variation, but we'll get to that as we go through. So let's just go through the parts one at a time. So we're going to start it off with a bandana. We're going to be just doing the plain bandana, bandana, the 15th variant, which is this plain red one. Then for the vest, we're going to be using this uh, blue double-breasted lapeled vest. And now it doesn't match his perfectly from the thing, as you'll see when I put the picture up, but it does have the slightly more dis disheveled look to it, and it's pretty close to being the right color, so I think it's the best vest option. Then for the shirt, we're going to be using this kind of dirty white variant of the frumpy shirt, the fifth variant, that is, and we're going to be rolling the sleeves up on that. For the weapon equipment, we're going to be using the last variant, this darker brown variant of the Bulger gun belt. Uh, it's got the sort of reddish brown like his does, so that's the gun belt. For the pants, we're going to be using these, uh, the seventh variant of the Depot pants, so these, uh, baggy black looking pants. They match his basically perfectly. Then for the boots, the sixth variant of the Worn Ropers boots, these clean black ones, and again, we're going to be wearing them Texas style, so the pants are going to be tucked in, and we're not going to be wearing any spurs. And so that is the Emmett Granger outfit, and now, like I've said, there's some slight differences. Uh, for one thing, I wasn't able to make the mustache quite as thick as his is. Uh, it's definitely, I think the closest one is this, it's called the private when you're getting it, uh, because his is a little weird looking, kind of, kind of scuzzy, and the hair, you know, it's the same sort of thing. It's hard to imitate the sleaze of Emmett Granger, uh, but I think the outfit looks pretty good. Obviously, the bandana is a little bit smaller, and since we're wearing a bandana, we can't open the collar of the shirt. Uh, his sleeves aren't rolled all the way down, but one of them's kind of rolled up a little bit, and the other one's unbuttoned, so I think the, uh, more, I guess, rough shot looking design of rolling the sleeves up. That's why I went with it. Other than that, everything else looks great. The gun belt matches pretty well. The boots, the pants, uh, the shirt, vest, and uh, bandana are all the right color and stuff. So I think it all uh, comes together pretty well to look like Emmett Granger. So if you want to pair guns with this one, in the photo, he appears to be using a plain looking uh, silver or nickel plated Cattleman revolver with a wood grip, probably mahogany varnish. Uh, and then the rifle over his shoulder appears to be a scopeless rolling block, or maybe you just can't see the scope. So I would say if you're pairing guns with him based on a cigarette card, a cattleman revolver and a rolling block rifle are probably your best bet, or maybe even a Springfield rifle, because it's kind of hard to tell what he's got there. I think it looks like an older muzzle loading rifle, but uh, just given the fact that there's a ramrod that you can see sticking out of the bottom. But I would say either the Springfield or the rolling block would be good for his long arm weapon, or if you're going to imitate his weapon from the single player 
Empire Story, he uses a darker, heavily modified Cattleman Revolver. That's Emmett Granger. Let's move on to the next Gunslinger. All right, and so for our third Gunslinger, we're going to be doing Flacco Hernandez. And uh, this outfit turned out pretty great. It looks almost exactly like his does in the cigarette card. So let's go through the items that make up this outfit. For starters, we're going to be using the first variant of the plantation hat, the sort of dark brown one. For the bandana, the 19th variant of the patterned bandana. It's this sort of wore out green looking one. For the coat, we're going to be using the Benbow jacket, and we're going to be using this uh, sort of buckskin colored one because it matches his from the picture pretty much perfectly. For the shirt, I went with this first variant, the sort of dirty, white, nasty looking Union suit. For the weapon equipment, we again went with the first variant of the Gunslinger gun belt, this dark brown variant. For the pants, we're using the brown variant, the fifth variant of the studded pants. Then we're going to need the fourth variant of the Heathland chaps on top so we can get that uh, dark brown furry chap look. And for the boots, the eighth variant of the worn Roper's boots, these uh, nice clean looking brown ones. And when you've got it all together, you've got Flacco Hernandez. Now, of course, uh, he looks very different in the single player star with a big Mare Bay coat on. Uh, and uh, we're not able to perfectly match it. His jacket's a little bit more loose looking in the th in the picture, and he has his collar open and the bandana. Uh, his chaps go up a little bit higher. But other than that, I think it looks really good. Uh, this one turned out looking basically exactly like he does in the cigarette card. So if you want to match his uh, weapons for this one, again, he appears to have what I would say is probably the Springfield rifle over his shoulders. It's hard to compare it because it doesn't look exactly like anything from the game, but if we were going to approximate it, I would say it's probably the Springfield rifle. Either that or a long-barreled variant of the carbine or the Evans repeater. So one of those ways, but the Springfield's probably the closest. Uh, or the rolling block. It's, it's similar to one of those in style. And you can't see a gun on his belt, but he obviously has a gun belt on over his chaps there. And in the story, he uses a heavily customized Cattleman revolver. So you could go with a Cattleman revolver and either the Springfield or Rolling Block is probably the best weapons to pair with your Flacco Hernandez character. So that is the third gunslinger. Let's move on to the fourth. So here we have our fourth gunslinger and we have, we're have we doing Jim Boy Calloway. Uh, so I think this one turned out great. Looks a lot like it does. Plus it's kind of a cool looking outfit, you know, just in general. So let's go through the items that make up this one. So here we're starting off with the hat, and we're going to be using the uh, final variant of the gambler's hat, sort of this dark brown one with a black band around it. For the neckwear, we're going to be using the Robero necktie, if you've got it, because it looks basically perfect for his, and if you don't have this, then the red variant of the neat string tie would work just fine. For the coat, we're going to be using the eighth variant of the worsted coat, looks basically exactly like his does. For the vest, we're going to be using the 15th variant of the opulent vest, this black striped one again. Uh, it's not exactly like his is, but it's pretty close. For the shirt, the 27th variant of the everyday shirt, so this nice clean white variant is going to be the best choice. For the gun belt, this light uh, brown variant of the Bulger gun belt looks pretty close to the way his looks. For the pants, I went with the third variant of the Cabrera pants, so we could get that uh, slightly darker gray, but still pretty neat look. Then for the boots, once again, we're going to be using the eighth variant of the Warren Ropers boots. This time, we're going to be wearing them tucked into the pants. And there you have it. That's the best I could come up with, imitating Jim Boy Calloway. I think this one turned out looking great. Again, this outfit just looks really cool. So even if you weren't trying to imitate him, I think this is a cool outfit in general. But I also think it looks a lot like him. Now, the hair and facial hair, I just went with a slightly longer, uh, the windswept black haircut, uh, a black color for it haircut, and then the goatee facial hair. It looks pretty dang close to the way that his looks uh, in the in the cigarette card. So that is Jim Boy Calloway. Let's move on to the fifth and final gunslinger that we're going to be looking at today. All right, and so for our fifth and final design today, we've got uh, Slim Grant. And I think this one turned out, again, looking pretty dang cool and also matching his outfit from the cigarette card pretty well. So let's go through the items. So for the hat, we're going to be starting off with the black cutter hat. For the neckwear, the black folded string tie. For the coat, the seventh variant of the leather duster, this clean black one. For the vest, I went with the ninth variant of the lancer vest. This was the hardest item on this outfit to match because in the, the picture he's wearing what looks to be a pretty clean looking brown striped vest. And of course we don't have anything like that, but I think this one matches the color of it decently well. For the shirt, the clean white everyday shirt. For the weapon equipment, the black embossed gunslinger gun belt. For the pants, I went with the seventh variant of the tuxedo pants, these nice clean brown ones. For the boots, we have the six variant of the worn Roper's boots, the clean black ones, and we're wearing them tucked into the pants. And for the spurs, we're going to be using the Gurdon Morrow spurs, the uh, third variant, these nice clean black ones. And so there we have the outfit in its entirety. So we went with a darker brown uh, color for the hair and the facial hair. We weren't able to match the mustache perfectly because his doesn't curve up quite so much. He just kind of has a thin mustache, but it's uh, too 
too full to be the private and the other ones are a bit too thick so I think the barkeep is probably the closest we can come to imitating the look uh, but other than that I think the outfit looks pretty great it matches his decently well uh, as far as weapons go in the picture he actually interestingly either has what would be a cattleman revolver in the game or a Schofield revolver but it's it's full nickel plated or silver plated and interestingly you can see that the grip on the gun is actually a solid silver grip which would have been very expensive at the time but was not it didn't not exist it was a it was a grip that was very very real obviously it would have been very flashy and most people wouldn't have spent the money on it but it is something that I would love to see added to the game obviously we can't do that but what we can do is probably just go for a full silver or nickel plated uh Schofield or, or cattleman revolver and just give it the pearl grip because it'll have a very similar feel to it so that would be the weapons that I pair with him other than that I think the outfit turned out looking as close as we can to him in the game and it looks pretty dang good so that is all five of the legendary gunslingers from the single player story recreated from their cigarette cards I think all of them turned out looking pretty dang good and they're all pretty unique looking outfits so recreating any of them would be something that would be very very cool thanks for watching another dare to game video if you like this video please leave a like and a comment if you haven't already be sure to subscribe to the channel if you like my content and would like to support this channel consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month it makes a huge difference but in any case thanks for watching and have a nice day i'll see you next time